It's not just where you live. It's where you play. It's where you get the most out of life. New Journeys is a show that explores the best of Florida and Northern Michigan. It's more than a real estate show. Yes, you can tour exciting properties, but mostly it opens a vibrant lifestyle to a place you can call home. Watch New Journeys, TV 7 and 4, Sundays at 11.30. New Journeys, for a life well lived. I'm Elizabeth Edwards, Managing Editor of Northern Home and Cottage. Welcome to the 2020 Virtual Home Tour.
what happens when a longtime forestry professor gets a chance to design his retirement home? He uses a lot of beautiful wood. Join us as we tour this handsome, modern rustic home on Cedar Lake, just outside of Traverse City. Ready, set, let's go inside. Hi, thank you. Hi, I'm Erin Lutke. I'm the marketing director with My North Media, home to the 2020 virtual home tours with Northern Home and Cottage. I'm actually standing here with Scott Norris of Scott Norris Construction, um, and we're at this beautiful Cedar Lake home right in Traverse City. So Scott and his son Caleb actually put this house together, um, and it was all based on influence from the homeowners. So tell me, when you met Maria and Kurt, how did they come to you with this, the idea for this house? Well, it was a, a family home, and so they wanted a, a house that was appropriate for the property, which of course is on Cedar Lake and, and has winds off of uh, the bay. So just a beautiful, one-of-a-kind setting, and so certainly we wanted a one-of-a-kind home. They expressed interest in a kind of a Scandinavian style, which is just, it's kind of elegant in its simplicity. So you'll notice when we do the tour, there's not over-the-top kind of decorative uh, things that's more simply stated, but just structurally sound. Um, lots of uh, light maples, light woods that makes it light and airy that kind of gives it that feel. And so we just uh, wanted to build a home that uh, of course matched their budget, but also uh, appealed to their taste. Absolutely. I'm sitting here on beautiful Cedar Lake, right in Traverse City, and I'm with our homeowners, Kurt and Maria, here with us today to talk a little bit about what inspired the design of this beautiful home. So Kurt has a background in forestry and was actually a forestry professor for over 37 years. Kurt, tell me how your background in forestry helped you design this home and, and what you know influenced it. We really uh, wanted to incorporate some of our family heritage here. Uh, the family's been on this property for more than 40 years. We've been coming here for many years uh, when our children were young. And so we wanted to respect uh, that family heritage and um, I, we really are interested in kind of an open airy look, um, Scandinavian style, simple, uh, bright, lots of windows, not, uh, not many dark spaces at all. Mm -hmm. And wood, of course, is the most renewable building material known to man. Um, uh, all, it, all it needs is a little sunlight and some water and some nutrients. And, and so we really want to incorporate wood into the house. We actually, uh, if you look at the ceilings, we actually uh, harvested some wood from family property in Clare County that was planted by my wife's uh, father and brother the year she was born and um, we had it milled and um, I finished it and Scott uh, Norris did a fabulous job of incorporating it into the house. And we, we worked with Caleb Norris on the design to try to make it fit the lot um, and improve the views and, and so that worked out really nicely. And uh, Scott was, was really um, great at uh, helping us find a way to incorporate our ideas uh, into the construction of the home. And you can see those design influences you're talking about, the Scandinavian, the woods. Um, as we come around here into the kitchen, you know, I'm seeing these kind of dark influences um, down here. Was there any kind of thought process to the kitchen or, or why they wanted to incorporate some darks with the lights? Yeah, I. I would say that that is, is more just a design accent so we have just more simple stated colors you know sure. there's some light maple cabinets which match all the maple in the floors and the trim is all maple so that kind of just stays with the theme yes. and then just for some interest uh, we went with just a dark uh, color so it's uh, just a muted understated accent uh, that looks, you know, very attractive. Very beautiful. And now the floors, um, I know that Kurt had mentioned um, they were a specific type of wood. What type of wood were used in the floor? This is, grows in northern Michigan, so it's a completely regional wood, but it's very hard, it's very durable, and it, we just put it down, it's sight finished, so a very beautiful light floor. Yes, it definitely matches the outside with the greens. Beautiful. <laughs> 
So now we're standing here in the beautiful living room um, and we're standing next to this Norwegian yodel stove, uh, which is something that the homeowners um, really had a preference in and picked out. So Scott, talk a little bit more about what this does for the room. Okay, well, it's besides just the ambient beauty of it, you know, it's got glass kind of all around it. It's a, just a great source of radiant heat. Uh, so very efficient, it's just a gas, a gas heater. It's got some thick iron plates, so it holds some heat after it's shut down and continues to radiate. Um, but it was just a, a Scandinavian look that the owners had in their mind. Uh, actually, I think before we started the house, they knew that this particular stove was gonna go in the living room. Yeah, and I mean, heat is obviously important as we are in Northern Michigan, and we're actually sandwiched between two lakes. We've got the bay on one side, and then we've got Cedar Lake on the other side, and it was really important for the homeowners to have an eco-efficient home. Um, is there anything else in this room that helps make the home more eco-efficient? Yeah, really, the, the whole thermal envelope of the home is, is a pretty important. We have real high quality windows uh, that don't let air infiltrate, heat reflective glass in them, argon filled gas, so they're insulated glass. And then the, the house itself is, has a, a foam uh, in the walls, uh, two pound cold cell foam, which is airtight and waterproof. So really the house is a, a thermos, uh, so that it's, it's just very airtight. The homeowner talks about how quiet the house is compared to the last one that was on this site. And that's an that's effect of you know, good windows, but also a, a, a very effective uh, thermo envelope. And so it's the, the envelope and, and the heat source that just make the, the home very comfortable year round. Wonderful. And now as we turn, in, turn back towards the center of the home, I noticed this beautiful shaft up here. Um, talk a little bit about the, the timber that was used and, and kind of the design for this. Yeah, well this is a white pine timber truss. We, uh, Scott Norris Construction, we, we own a, a, a timber fabrication shop and we do a lot of timber frame homes. And this was some white pine uh, timbers that actually matched the white pine that came off the, the family's property. These particular timbers didn't come off their property, um, but it was just a nice structural element that plays into the theme that, that was started here. So as we walk into the master bedroom, I'm noticing that um, the view that they have right from their bed is stunning. Was that something that the homeowners were looking for? Yes, indeed. Yeah, when we were laying out the design of the home, uh, obviously there's gorgeous views of, of Cedar Lake, and we want to take advantage of those in every room. Sure. And the house isn't, uh, you know, an overly built house, not extra big, and so we, you know, had to use the spaces. So in this particular design, we we had the bed planned to be here. Uh, we showed the bed on the house plans because this is where it was going to go, the way it worked with the closet and the bathroom, and uh, there's built-in reading lamps. Uh, so the bed was the bed's location was integral to the design of this area. I love that you don't area. think about that. That you actually before you even have the house built, that you have a function of where the bed's going to go because that's key to you know the the beautiful the scenery outside and just fitting into the room. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. And now let's head into the bathroom. Um, so this is the first time I've seen a beautiful pop of color actually. Um, so you know it looks like the homeowner was looking for some blue in here, um, and the tub you know was that part of their desire was to get some color in here. Mm -hmm. And again, being a Scandinavian style, it's just a simple palettes of color, not you know fancy designs, fancy accents. It's more just a statement made with the colors used in a, in a more uh, simple palette. So the, the elegance of the home is really in its simplicity, but it's still, you know, it's a very luxurious feeling space. Yes, I know the homeowner mentioned it's very spa-like, and I'm still seeing the wood influence through here too. Is this all still? Uh, all maple. All maple yep. still, continuing yep. that. Love that, beautiful. The pantry right off the kitchen, the first thing I notice is, you know, just the amount of space and the sturdiness of, of the built-ins in here. Talk a little bit about what the homeowner wanted. Well, she's a gardener, she likes to can, she's got cast iron uh, products, so she wanted something obviously sturdy and, and also enough shelving to handle all of the product that she'd be uh, dealing with. So we did maple again, it's really strong wood. Um, and then we just arranged the cubbies and the shelves according to their desire. It was kind of fun to talk to both of them and this will fit here, this will fit there and gave them a pantry that's uh, very uh, user friendly. All right, so now we're looking at this beautiful railing that's right kind of in the center of this open concept space. Um, I know that the homeowners picked it out as part of like a magazine um, picture that they had seen, but how did it come to life? Yeah, they had a picture in a magazine that they'd like the style, and it's, it's kind of a urban industrial um, 
style that really works well with a Scandinavian sort of feel because it's very simple. It's, it's not what you would call ornate. It looks very functional. Um, but it also is just beautiful in its simplicity. You know, we incorporated the maple on the top railing um, with the steel and, and the cables, and then we did the same railing out on the deck so there's not different kinds of, of railings in the house, inside or outside. It's all tied together. Um, and then we were able to, it's custom made by a local uh, Pat Herman, a local craftsman, he has, has a fabrication shop and we drew what we wanted and he, he made it. And we put a gate at the top of the stairs so that when grandchildren are around, they can be a little more safe. Um, and it becomes a very uh, functional as well as a beautiful addition to the home. I love it, very beautiful. Now let's head downstairs. I know, I'm so excited to see. I know there's a sauna down here that I can't wait to see and some flooring. Um, so did, was a sauna something specific that the homeowners were looking for? Yes, they wanted a sauna in their home. The, there was a sauna in the home that we moved off of this property. Uh, so they are sauna people. This is the actual sauna um, that's it's just built in and integral with the house. It's not a unit that you bring in and plug in. This is, is uh, just custom built. It smells amazing down here. Was this a, the sauna, first sauna you've built or have you done many of these for We've homes done up here? several saunas. I've been building since 1980, so yeah. yeah. But Lots this, every sauna is a little different and of course this is a little little different than sure. some of them. A little general, it's a little larger than, than some that we've done. Um, but usually they're not too big. This is all enveloped in foam, so it's, it holds its heat and, and steam. It's waterproof behind the cedar. Uh, so uh, yeah, just a great space. And then a shower behind here, it looks like. Yep, just a curbless shower. So you come right from the sauna into the shower. So we're standing in the lower level of the house now. Um, and the first thing that you notice are these very unique floors. Um, talk a little bit about how these floors came to life. Well, these are just a, a polished concrete floor. And, a, and as we've spoken about a Scandinavian style, it's usually very simple. Uh, the function is important to what we're selecting. And of course, we're on the lake, sand is getting tracked in. And so the idea of polished concrete kind of evolved. But to make it a little more interesting, um, we had the homeowners go to our local landscape supply and pick out some very colorful aggregate that we broadcast in the cement when it was wet. And then they finished the cement. Then we we came back in and polished the floors so that it shows this you know really attractive aggregate in the floor so it's a very interesting floor but super durable um, and, and practical yeah yeah we want to bring the view into every room like we did the bedroom the the great room upstairs and the family room down here we we really want to feel like you're kind of outside without having to feel the cold in the winter or the too hot in the summer so we really wanted to bring that space in so as we walk down this hallway, the first thing I notice is this beautiful wall. Is this wood um, that the family had brought in? Mm -hmm. that, this is more of the white pine from Claire that was whitewashed that matches the ceiling in the great room. And as kind of an interesting take on this, we have the same product, but the, the homeowners did a, a blue stain on the wall. And so we just have a nice accent of blue that's similar to that splash of color in the master bath that we saw with the tile. Nothing over the top, it just creates a, a nice, uh, yeah, very like subtle color yeah, on the wall. Yeah. Absolutely. And so these are kind of the guest quarters. I know that the homeowners are, are retired. Um, how many bedrooms do they have down here for guests? There's two bedrooms down here and, and then they have their own bathroom down here as well. That's wonderful. And obviously the, the bedrooms are still looking out towards the Cedar Lake. Mm -hmm. um, still get that beautiful view, which you talk about. Wonderful. So as we finish the tour and we stand outside here, I can't help but notice um, the beautiful color of the outside of the home, which I know is a cedar lap siding. Um, there's a unique story though behind it. I would love for you to tell us how it came about. Well, the homeowner is a, was a professor at uh, Idaho University and his background is in forestry. And so he's one of the unique clients I think I've ever had that may know more about wood than I do. And when he was out west, he was able to uh, locate all of this cedar and had it shipped to Michigan long before we ever started the project. 
And so it was obviously it was going to be cedar siding. There's a cedar lap siding, western red cedar, and then tongue and groove that we uh, mix and match to give an interesting exterior texture. And then also he, Kurt, played around with colors. And so there's some natural uh, stain. This is just natural cedar with a clear coat on it. And then you'll see some of the home has a, a, a more uh, dark accented stain. So together it just makes a very interesting uh, two-tone uh, house, uh, pretty subtle, but still very interesting. Perfect for right on the lake, you know, you really feel like you're at an up north like cottage. It's perfect. Thank you. Aaron, I hope you enjoyed the tour of, of the home. Uh, it's been a delight to be able to share it. We had a lot of fun with this home. Uh, Scott Norris Construction, I have several really wonderful craftsmen and you've seen some of the things that we love to do. I, I love when I work with the people like the Pregatzers who brought lots of ideas to the table, lots of, can, you think we can do this, you think we can do that. That's, that's really what I love to do. Um, we have a cabinet shop where we can fabricate basically anything. We have a timber shop, we can fabricate all kinds of you know, timbers. And this was a home that let us do a little bit of all of that. So it was really uh, delightful to be able to participate in the construction of the home and then also uh, to partner with uh, Travers the Magazine for a great fundraiser. So I appreciate that you uh, asked us to participate in the uh, tour this year. Absolutely, and thanks again. Thanks to the homeowners, Kurt and Maria. We appreciate it very much. And thank you for joining us on the 2020 Northern Home and Cottage virtual tours that are benefiting the Child and Family Services of Northwest Michigan. We really appreciate you joining us this year. Every one of our day passes comes with over 260,000 gallons of fun.
There's a place on Florida's East Coast with 22 miles of beaches, where the hotels are no taller than the towering oaks, and award-winning chefs own restaurants. With art, culture, and acres of conservation land to explore. Experience Florida's finer side. Visit Indian River County, Florida.